Welcome back to Augmented Naturally. Just a quick news update. Figures as soon as we were already in recording mode, they post something as soon as we put the phone down to record it. So, just the way it goes. Happy Pokemon Day. We're almost there. Pokemon Go Live just released the information on it, though. Starting February 25th till March 2nd, it will be a special celebration for Pokemon Day. And it looks like it's going to be party hats all the way around. Party hats with the possibility of shiny as well. Pikachu will get the illustrious party hat as usual, along with Eevee. Both Pokemon's mascots at the time. Although I think Eevee kind of faded away a little bit. Still Pikachu though. But in addition, in addition to those party hats... In addition to those party hats, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle will all have party hats as well. And all of these party hat Pokemon this year will actually have the chance at being shiny. I don't know if Wurmple's coming back with a party hat yet, though. Probably just the usuals. During raids, Armored Mewtwo will be coming back as well. With the special charge attack, Psy Strike. Now this Armored Mewtwo will be on point for PvP. As certain leagues, it will actually get a higher CP threshold because it has higher defenses, but lower attack. As the point of the armor on Mewtwo is to restrain its attack. That was the only way Team Rocket were able to handle it at the time being. And because it lost that, that armor, it was able to break out and start cl cloning Pokemon. Which reminds them that the Netflix special for Pokemon will be coming out soon. Mewtwo Strikes Back on Netflix. And they're talking about in Tier 4 raids, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise as clone Pokemon will be in raids. Which may mean that they're actually adding that ex extra clone detail on there. Which gives it a new, a new way of looking. You know, if you remember from the seri from the movie, those clone Pokemon had those tribal tattoos. It kind of looked like they had their own little markings on there. That way you could distinguish which ones were which. So, it's another costume effect going on for this, which is kind of cool. Kind of better. Give them Pokemon tattoos, similar to the aspect of how the best buddies have their own metal. In addition to that, clone Pikachu will actually show up via Ghost Snapshot. So quite simply, take a couple pictures of your Pokemon, of your buddies, and if you get photobombed, it'll be by the clone Pikachu. So make sure you keep an eye out for that one. The other bonus, during the course of this event, you'll be able to do up to two special trades per day for any, for anyone. Basically, you can do a special trade with your buddy and then the other guy, or girl, or whatever they would like to be called. So, <laughs> special trades, up to two per day during the course of this event. The event starts February 25th till March 2nd. And don't forget, it starts at... one p.m. Pacific Standard Time or eight minus eight GMT. Things to keep in mind, whichever region you're enjoying from. In addition, to close out the event on March first, Nidorino and Gengar in the historic, illustrious, memorable opening sequence of Red and Blue had Gengar and Nidorino going up against each other. They will then, they will now be, they will be in a special raid day from 2 to 5 p.m. on March 1st, a Sunday. From 2 to 5 p.m. your local time, they will have party hats. In addition to, they can also be shiny with said party hats as well. And for this year's Pokemon Day, it's shinies all the way, all the way around. And I'm sure there's more to come when it comes to this event. 
So make sure you keep an eye out, keep your ears out, stay tuned to the channel. And remember, good calls, good balls, good luck. Stay all my friends. We'll catch you in the next one.